It's been an interesting day in Star Citizen. Once again, with some info and leaks, I haven't been bringing any content to the table or writing scripts, but, you know, we do have stuff in the works. Hogwarts Legacy has been taking a little bit of time, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying it, so uh, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. <laughs> So hi chickies, hi everyone. Today I'm bringing you some juicy stuff. As you know, we have some, like, we really only have one real interdiction ship that has, like, um, the actual dampening stuff. Um, but, you know, we do have ships with EMPs and whatnot, and it seems like RSI really only has the one. So this ship is known as the RSI Mantis, and with the RSI Mantis, you have a quantum snare and you have quantum dampening. Now, we do have other interdiction ships, but those ships do not have the dampening effects as the Mantis does. Now, we're going to go from there to like all the interdiction vessels that have an EMP based system, but the Mantis can physically stop people from quantum jumping away, hence the reason for the interdiction name. Now, I wouldn't really call the other ones interdiction. I mean, they can be, but they sort of, they're more or less take shields down and um, sort of, you know, as it, it, it states, it's an electromagnetic pulse to sort of stop electronics on the ship, but it doesn't really work that well. So, um, going in terms of these ships, we don't have a lot of options anyway, so it looks as though they're going to give us another option in that department. Now, as we have seen, there was a reveal that, you know, usually you'll get um, like a little bit of an image and people make an assumption of what it is, and sometimes you can really make an accurate guess on this. And you know, seeing as this image didn't really show too much, but there was one general indicator in that. So going on from there, if you have a look at the image, it does show you a little bit of info. Now, it looks like a rail system maybe, and then you've got like, I guess the EM, um, the quantum snare dampening box inside of like a bit of housing there. And that looks like the railing for the turrets on the back of the Scorpius, but it very well may not be. I've only just made that assumption as you can tell um, but yeah it's just it's very interesting the image and a lot of people made assumptions about other ships but then you know people came back to that and going off some of the stuff other information that we got now like I said in this department we you know we see the reveal and then we usually get um, posted on like in our emails and whatnot now there was leaks to sort of set this in concrete now you know you would want to say that now this is going to be something that we can see soon and you know it's one of those ships that's going to be really really interesting to see come in but going in from there you know no other manufacturers have any ships with this ability and i might be wrong so let me know down in the comments but it is what it is now with that being said that the ship in question is the rsi scorpius and so we can see from the reveal that it looks as though it'll be sitting on the rail system where the turret usually sits so there seems to be a bit of a drawback with this which isn't going to be a horrible thing but you'll lose that extra fire power uh, on the back which brings me to my next question will there be like still a need for a co-pilot and will it be pilot controlled or will it be co-pilot controlled and as stated it will be coming out with 3.18 which i didn't really know so does that mean it will be in the ptu for testing to make sure everything is in order or will it just get chucked in at release um you know which is something that isn't really what they do but i'm not 100 percent sure on that it will be interesting to see, uh, interesting though to see what it looks like through um what it seems that you know the dampener will be housed in some form of fashion on the back of the ship so that you know, I would only assume to keep it protected from being destroyed. So with the leaks that we have seen, the ship files um, had the same QED files as the Mantis, which was a good indicator that the Scorpius was getting a variant. And along with it being in code as interdiction class for the Scorpius, as you can see. So there is multiple pieces of evidence that this thing is coming to the ship, um, which in some ways would be good. But again, it's just a variant. So there's nothing really to go too crazy about, but it would definitely make some interesting gameplay to have an interdiction ship that is a, has a bit more firepower and you know it's a little bit heavier than the mantis so don't get me wrong that you know this will be a great ship and it's probably not a ship that everyone wants to be in it's not really um, the mantis isn't really a ship you want to be caught out with by yourself so having another one another option will be good so I could be very wrong that this could 
lose its turret and it would seem there would be a drawback to having this feature on the ship in the first place whether or not the co-pilot will control the interdiction side of the ship which would be interesting but I feel it would be better controlled by the pilot now to have that control over to the co-pilot would also have its benefits being that you know the pilot could concentrate solely on going into combat but again like I said if this were not to lose its turret that would be fantastic but it seems like there would be some forms of drawback to this but again I want to know what you all think down in the comments of this now being that you know it's going to be the Scorpius I do enjoy the Scorpius myself whether or not a lot of people are going to get this which I, it's going to be obvious that people are going to get this it just seems like um, again going on some of my other mentions and conversations that it seems like they're recycling ships and they just keep recycling so that you know they can just bring another ship out and release if they can't meet the release for another one. But again, it's just my opinion. I want to know what you all think down in the comments as well because there's some definitely like interesting conversations going around about this at the moment. So let me know what you think down in the comments. If it's a good thing, if it's a bad thing, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you like the video, leave a like and comment and we'll see you in the verse. Bye-bye.